I was kind of wondering, like, what they were going to do. Obviously, Ogre Magi is a, a good hero in response to the Bane, somewhat, in, and it also buffs up their, their more aggressive style. Again, they finish games quickly when they do win them, so Ogre Magi is going to benefit <laughs> you in that. But, I mean, I are we going to be relying completely on this Death Prophet to get the silence off onto the Bane in order to interrupt a Fiend's Grip? Or Us, that would be tough job. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, the the series that we've got coming up with the uh, Fnatic taking on T1, whenever they see a Bane or whenever they see a Snapfire, these, these heroes that want to lay down their ultimates from afar, they're going to instant pick something like a Clockwork to be able to respond to it. So I'm interested to see that Execration, obviously, maybe the Tusk is just a bit more of a... I think Tusk is just like, covers it. Because yeah. you don't have to snowball the Bane. You can just snowball True. and then pick your up your hero who's getting gripped and then that cancels it and they're protected. True. So you have like two ways of dealing with Bane there. Uh, and usually Tusk yeah. like... But wow, Ember Spirit! I oh reckon it's going to be a Grimstrike. Oh my god! Oh, they got oh, Mirana. Oh, exactly. I mean, off. that's fine as well. Yeah, right? I like that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bane Mirana, classic support duo, Searing Chains, very easy setup for the uh, the Mirana Arrow. Yeah, don't hate it at all. Do Ember Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the Mirana is a better pairing than the Grim, or it just acts in a very different way? That it's a very different pick, yeah. in my opinion. Like Mirana provides you a lot more of that, like gotcha style whereas yep. grimstroke feels a little bit more suitable for the the sustained team fights and of course you know being able to get double fiends grip off things like that yeah you know obviously it's going to be very impactful but yeah marana's maybe just a bit more of an easy setup for the laning stage fbz's hero still hasn't been picked up that's uh, one other thing that we've yet to see uh come through here and well they're clearly focusing a lot of the bands on his hero pool but Mm -hmm. I mean, Tide Hunter's still available. I think Tide Mirana was very successful um, across the last few days that we've watched both Sea and Eastern Europe. I think my favorite thing about the Mirana pick is the Execration right now have heroes that are very good at orbs looking to take towers very well. So DP can push really well with her ult. Uh, Ogre can buff up a carry. Perhaps they want to do something ranged and try and push or whatever. Marana, uh, her arrow one shots creeps, so she'll be able to just rotate to lanes and like kill siege creeps and just make that pushing like a little bit slower. Bob Puck, huh? This is very similar draft to their uh, game against Fnatic, in which they had Od, Ogre, Ta, Tusk, and Puck. So Kay. obviously the DP being the only difference so far, and they're not going to pick up Od because. That has been banned out. Also, Kamizu had a horrible game yeah. at that time. Like he was. Oh, they did lose this. Let me let me let me put that. Uh, I mean, warning sure, but they did lose that one against. But Fnatic. in that situation, like Bob and Nando had an okay amount of farm. Kamizu was literally yeah. like half of what they had, which, you know, not to single him out, but it feels like DP is one of those heroes that you're going to provide something in a team fight, right? Mm -hmm. Like you pop exorcism, you spirit siphon, you're quite tanky, and even in the worst case scenario, you're going to have a tusk to be able to save you, right? So. Yeah. I, it's a lot more straightforward with how to play it, and I feel like it fits his style a whole lot more than the OD does. That um, makes me very excited for the execration draft so far, then. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, well, they're looking to get rid of the Terror Blade, perhaps. Uh, yeah, obviously, just wanting to get rid of a lot of Nando's hero pool, something that range that pairs together well with the Ogre Magi. Obviously, you can't have something that obviously wants to stay super deep on the back lines because you know Yopage's Ember Spirit is just going to run at you. <laughs> um, what else could they go? I mean, they picked a Gyrocopter <laughs> in that second game against Fnatic and it did not turn out well for Nando. He was just feeding over and over, unfortunately. I really don't want to see the Gyro come out. I don't want Gyro. I mean, I don't think it's like great here, but I think while we say he had a bad game that game, he had a Gyro game before that, that whilst they lost, it went really well and his lane was really great. Mm. Okay. Uh, I think they're just going to be holding their idea right now because obviously Boom are about to pick their off lane or most likely unless they're putting Razor off lane but I, I doubt that um, and then they'll just respond to it I think it has to be a tide right you should just give him a good lane oh, he's got the new DK set is uh, definitely the only reason you just picked that hero mm -hmm. <laughs> but no uh, DK's like been a commonly long picked counter to Puck just because it's a blink instant stun onto yep. him uh, it's a great catch good for laning as well right two and a half seconds stun into a Marana arrow very solid. Mm. Uh, I mean, DP likes playing against it, sure, in the super later stages, but I, I feel like it, it provides you a lot, even just not even using it for the, the burst damage potential, but it just allows you to guarantee you're getting that static link off as well. Boom's whole lineup right now is just a lot of pick off. Uh, and like the nice thing about pick off is that you want to kind of get in, kill them, and do it quickly. Medusa is a really nice response pick here because she doesn't die instantly to that sort of pick off. If they jump with uh, FBZ and, and stun him, you know, it, it gives at least 
like 10 seconds for Steam to TP and respond, which is more than enough time. Uh, so I I do I I, I like this response pick a lot from Execration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like Boom are, are still going to get active on Nando like super early on before the Deucer gets to that level of farm, but once you get to a certain point, they're probably just going to ignore him and say, look, he's going to get some farm, but we're just going to get all of the rest of the heroes and a lot of the map control in that meantime. So I'm still going to go with Boom. They're yeah. obviously sitting tied for first on the ladder right now. Execration, not having the greatest recent results, and I feel like you've given them enough comfort in the draft as well, so I'm going to go with Boom. I'm looking forward to seeing if Boom do have what it takes with this draft to take game number one. But we're going to head over to Gods and Zyclops, who are going to be your casters. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the DBC 2022-201 Division 1 with me, Cyclops and Gods. This is the uh, important Matt Gods. It is, it is. I'm happy to be here with you. We just finished casting some Division 2. Uh, some promotion matches now we're headed up and uh, boom yeah. are looking they want to get first place still it's still possible yes. for them to win yeah even though they lost yeah. to t1 uh last week yeah this is a fighting for the first place was was t t1 it's a creation if he loses series they guarantee for a spot in a in a tie break for relegation which is you don't want to be in those kind of tie break so um well we'll see we'll see yep this it will um, yeah, some interesting picks and drafts. I, I like to see Boom go for the uh -huh. Tim's Marana. And of course, Yopaj Embersbird. This has become his kind of go-to hero in this SCA DPC. Um, something that Pal mentioned was Boom. They have a lot of these long games, and partly it's because of this Ember pick. They really like going late game with Ember, getting this like Ags refresh or late game build going. Uh, and we'll see if we can get there. Uh, but in, in this case, going to late game against Medusa, uh, I I don't think is um, it's a happy experience <laughs> against that uh, hero yeah. that we just saw in, in, in the previous series. That how strong the hero is, and that Medusa is not you know Medusa DC is not even a late game hero. It's a yeah. mid game. It, it's strong since like twenty five minutes in, and, and you can start pushing with it. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, you, absolutely. If you get free farm, you're you don't want to go like. I mean, you can go 50, 60 minutes with Medusa, but usually, like you say, 25 to 35 is where Medusa feels strong, where you have, like, Manta Scotty. Uh, and that's mm -hmm. when you want to take Roshan and take all the towers. So uh, we'll see where Boom is at at that point. Uh, I like I, I do like Razor a lot against Medusa, even though it didn't work in the Division 2 game we saw. Yes. I think it's just a hero that, you know, Medusa already has damage issues, and it's very easy to static link Medusa. It's much harder to static link these heroes that can, like, kill you really fast. Medusa slowly kills you, so it's a... It's a good hero to static link. You just run in, you need that BKB. Later on, you get the refresher. Um, Razor looks good to me. And the other components of Boom heroes are also good. Uh, they got a lot of single target long lockdown, which is like a nightmare or a dragon tail, which is gonna work well with both static link and also the, uh, the sacred arrow. Uh, yeah, uh, I like like you mentioned. I I think this one is going to be a good racer game. Uh, yeah. execration. This is going to be a hard one for them because uh, boom, past ten game was an impressive record of nine game victory, zero tie, and lost only one, which is their recent game against the T1. They lost their recent DBC match uh, versus T1. Man, that was that was actually a great match to watch, especially for the first one. We we yeah. get to see some some classic match up, PL TB. Yeah, it was very exciting. Um, I think particularly, like you say, particularly the game one, um, where the TB like bought an Ag scepter and managed to turn the game around. Game two, even though it went forty six minutes, was a bit more one sided. Um, but it's kind of a wake up call for Boom, where it's like you know up until then, Boom had looked like this unbeatable team in the SEA region. They won uh, a pretty big tournament before the DPC began. Um, and then they were undefeated until they met T1. So I think it was T1 reminding people like, hey, you know, we're the team that represented SEA at TI. We got top eight. Um, you know, we're, we're still the kings of SEA for now. Although unfortunately T1 losing to Neon means even if T1 beat Fnatic, they could still be tied for first. Oh, okay. Top lane. That's interesting. Oh. Yep. They start, a, they start a combo quite early. The Nightmare Arrow seems to work fine, and that's a kill! Oh, wow! 
Great yeah. move. They just don't expect to have both supports up top to start off. That was like a kind of sick read from Boom, knowing they could get a first blood there. Yeah, placing the uh, optical awards for the visions and want to see Mirza to know that Mirza is still not that strong. Uh, probably not even, yes, a mana shield. And so squishy, easy to kill. Yeah, definitely a hero that very low levels, not very tanky. It isn't until much later. Usually at low levels, you're just taking advantage of your ranged as well as the harass from the Mystic Snake. Uh, but, you know, if they hit this Dragon Tail into arrow combo, there is a lot of kill potential with this boom lane. Oh. Oh, the arrow hits the creep, unfortunately. They drew aggro with the creep up top, mm. otherwise that may have been another kill. Yeah, that's true. Man, the uh, Dragon Egg Mirana is quite aggressive. I mean, when, when we yeah. talk about the, the classic duo uh, of the uh, Mirana with someone who doing very fine, we... Oh, wait, at the bottom lane. Sorry, that I can't use the sentence because someone is about to go down. <laughs> Which is like, uh, boom. Oh, wait. He's trying to shoot it out. Eat some oh, he's out. But hey, he's still there. Yep. Oh, yo. Got away. Yep. He had to use a lot of regen. He used his salve, which instantly got cancelled by Carl. Ah. And then he used his second salve. So it's expensive for Skem. Like, it costs him an extra 100 gold just to stay alive there. But wanting to deny Carl the kill. Bane will just have to spend, you know, another 200 gold on regen. This is just five position life. He buys a tango and, and a salve, you know. Skim's just spending <laughs> basically, you know, your first like six, seven, eight hundred gold you make as a five position, it's all spent on regen. Yeah. yeah that's what a sacrifice. Um, but he needs that, really need that razor to be big, uh, especially in, in the middle game while uh, Puck started to roam around. That Razor need to be tanky enough to just stand all the illusory orb and also st a stun of the dream coil at least. Yeah. Uh, I am looking at the bottom lane. Static link is going to have a lot of damage, but they drain it back. Not the damage, but the HP this time. Kimizu. But Kimizu, is that going to be a good drain? It was so uh -oh. low. Yeah, we go for the nightmare. Let's see if that's going to be enough damage to take Kimizu down. Yes, he can. It should be a trade. Carlo got it, but oh. he knows that Carlo. Aichard comes out and he has some Iglu and Plasma Field. Boom! Wins! Eventually in the bomb lane. Yeah, Tino just comes rolling through to break through his Iglu and Tino. <laughs> off to a great start on the Razor. Getting that kill. Skem just TPs back in, can heal him up. And that is definitely a little bit worried, worrying for Kamizu. He only has six last hits on this Death Prophet. Oh, Ooh, Arata. Another arrow to the body, to the torso. Oh my goodness, Nando get into a tree line, but this time around he's just gonna turn back. MBC falls. Looking very good on the strike back on top. Yeah, Ogre is just like the perfect five position to play with the Medusa. Bottom lane, they almost kill Kamizu again. He just TP'd yeah. in, and he instantly loses his entire health pool. Has a salve from his crazy. four position, but his lane is looking rough. Yes, uh, skim now level three. The core level 4, Tino, is quite dangerous. He now has a 335 movement speed with a brow boot. So if you're not big... Oh, wait. Middle lane. Bob is coming. Yeah. Almost got the solo kill on Yopash. He's, you know, trying to take it to Yopash, but unsuccessful so far. Yopash, to me, he's like one of these mid... I mean, he's, he's like one of the big superstars of the SA region right now, where he really shines to me is like the mid game with his rotations and super aggressive play. I wouldn't say he's like the straight up best laner in SA when it comes to mid laners, but he still is a very good laner. Ah, the ice heart doing so good at the bottom lane, blocks on two and, uh, but I think he's still a trade. Yes, Tino, we bought that Carlo. The fight happening on so many Ooh. lanes, and uh, next thing you know, Yopaj with a solo wow. kill against Park. That was unforced <laughs> error. I think Park was diving a little bit too deep, man. But calm down. Yeah, we call it we call it the caster curse. Here I'm saying, you know, Yopaj is a good laner, but he's not the best. And he's like, dude, I'll show you. Come on, casters, don't say that. I'll do, I'll get a solo kill as soon as you say that. Yeah. And he hits level Go six it. off of that. Medusa top made. Oh, arrow barely misses. FBZ can't quite do enough to finish it off. Oh, they had an so arrow close. flying in, which was off the mark. Yeah. Do you think it's that necessary for you when you play a partner against Ember Spirit to be that aggressive? 
like just now? Um, it's not necessary. I think it's a mid player thing where Bob, <laughs> you know, he he feels he knows they're the underdog in this matchup, so he wants to make he wants to outplay his lane. Like he's trying to do too I much see. because he feels like you know he has to kind kind of carry his team. But he feels like he has to play better than his like normal game of Dota. He can't just play like to his normal skill level if they want to be Heat Boom because Boom is so good. He feels like he got something to prove. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Well, bottom lane, they'll fight over the runes. It's going to spawn top, and Yopaj will get it. All right. This is interesting, especially with the, the middle lane. Bottom lane, action happens all the time. This time around in the plasma field, it's also static lane. Kimizu. Oh, was sap out yeah. the game. This has definitely been the, the weak point for Execration and all their games has been their offlane, unfortunately. Um, mm. Kimizu. Kimizu and... Carlo just, you know, they seem to be struggling a bit with the, the early game laning stage. Once they get out of the lane stage, they look good on these team fighting heroes, but they seem to just consistently uh, lose their lane to enemy enemy lanes. Six, four game score, seven minutes in. Uh, still don't know who was the uh, highest net worth, but looks like all the lanes looking good for Team Boom Esports, no. including mid. <laughs> Yeah, I maybe. think, uh, yeah. Well, if mid is not winning for Team Execration, that means they're gonna have to slow down the rotation time of that park to side lanes, and that's not looking good. On top, they lost another member, and they're gonna get yeah. diving in for the first time. Yopa, Jarboy, diving in for Vincenzo. He get back into the tree line. Jarboy slashing the creep behind the top tier on tower, so they're gonna grab this opportunity, dealing a little bit of the damage to the tower and fire Remnant back to mid. Maybe some action around here too. Yep. Doesn't want to commit for that T1 tower just yet, but looks like the Dragon Knight will stay up here trying to apply some pressure. But uh, yeah, Yopaj doesn't want to fully commit to like the aggressive roaming game just yet, but that still is a very early move from him to go and kill that Medusa. Team's Mirana. Hmm. Haven't seen One of his play best. Mirana for a while, yeah. Yeah. Mirana's become less popular, but this was always like a Tim's specialty. And very good heroes to that they've drafted with it. Both Ember and Dragonite are great setups for Arrow. Oh, another action happening. Down the river, mid lane. Your partner on the flame guy and just keep on dealing damage over time. Slide of fist. That was easy to kill by Boom Esports. Yeah. Mm. It, they make it look effortless with some of these, these plays. Ember's going to go back to base, refill his ball, and he's going to come out and find an Invis rune. I like the way that the supports and also uh, the cores of Team Boom Esports manage their mana. I mean, they, they just finished two kills in the middle lane and they are ready for the next fight with a lot of mana inside. Scam. They may have in a tree gone line. too far. Oh, Aaron misses. They toggle the sleep. Uh, oh, yep. no, but Doesn't I, matter. I think, <laughs> yeah. I think they were going to leave the Bane to die anyways. There were too many heroes. Nice coil is going to stop Tim's from leaping out of the pit. <laughs> okay, uh, he's not done it right yet. Yeah. That's it. The coil almost nice. Wore off. Nice right back for Execration. All these micro creels are actually um, necessary to them in order to slow down the the uh, fast paced game of Team Boom Esports. We yeah. we've, we've been uh, interview Paris just now, and they really want to to face Boom Esports because. Uh, they, they say the Boom Esport is really a team with the aggressive play style. And going for another kill by Yopat. Left and right, man. Left and right. Oh, and Tino TP's out too. They don't have the damage to kill him before. And this is the Yopat special. Wow. It's, kind of, it's kind of funny because, yeah, everyone talks about Boom as a super aggressive team. But as Danok mentioned, they do have this... The, uh, their average match length has actually been pretty long. So they play super aggressive, but they don't... Often, I think it's they don't play that safe, so they don't like go that methodical way of ending games, but it produces some very like high kill Dota. Very fun to watch. Yes, indeed. And top lane, NPC doing such a great job dealing with the medals on top. Um, yeah. Get rid of the top tier on tower quite fast within 10 minutes. And this is going to shut down the area of mid middle of farming. Maybe if you just have to move for hometown into the triangle and, and trying to farm the stack there. But I'm oh, pretty Medusa. sure that after Boom winning a big fight in mid lane or maybe in the right lane, they're gonna just go and play some aggressive obsol ward in a triangle. 
Oh, nice, nice try from team. He tried to quelling blade and run through to cut the Medusa off, but I think the the neutrals blocked him. Hard play to make, and he had the right idea, just couldn't quite execute. If they can get this mid tier on tower for boom, the Medusa is going to have very little places to farm. Yeah. So it might be a hard tower to get. Oh god, Ogre is so dead. One more slide of fist with a double damage. Yopage. Yeah. Dominated. Indeed. Luckily for Team Essa Creation, uh, FBT still doesn't have his uh, dra Elder Dragon form, but it will be soon. Dropping a Dream Point on one. Illusory Orb. But Ember Spirit seems to be quite tanky when it comes to the magic. And a Moonlight yep. Shadow. They are looking oh, to go for around to side off in the Fiend Keep and then follow up with an arrow. Inside the fight at the middle lane uh, will be crushed by Team Boom Esports. Another call will go down even though Spirit Typhon is on her. Uh, it's time to dive in. Team is trying to find some angle to land another Sacred Arrow. Oh, Nightmare on himself maybe dodge the attack. Uh, it double kill. Your part unstoppable already. Might be a trip. Nope. Tim's takes it. No triple kill for you, Yopaj. But Yopaj, 6-0 and 4. 15 kills in 11 and a half minutes for Boom. Not too shabby. This is fast pace hype SEA Dota. And they're crushing it. Boom with a 6k gold lead already. Oh dear. Wow, this is actually faster than we thought. Lost two tier one towers already for Team Esecrain, especially oh. for the middle Chains one. Chains into arrow. Yeah, perfect combo. Uh -huh. yep. Wicked sick for your part. They don't even have to, like, commit. They just sit back, throw their arrow, throw a side of fist, throw another side of fist, and it's a kill. This game, we thought it is going to be uh, such an under-pressure game for both sides, but Boom Esport handled with the pressure so well. Yeah. And for them, this is the series to get them into that potential first place or first place tie with T1. Even though they lost that series, they still have a chance to win the SEA DPC League. This winter tour, and it's, it's Yopaj's Ember again sending oh, up an arrow. Long range. Try to drop some Dream Card to stop Yopaj from moving forward, but... Man, my goodness. Eight kills, three ended by Kimisu, but that's commit a lot yep. of spells off as a creation side. Um... At least it's better than nothing. It was a great trade by Execration and a mistake made by Boom. And however, uh -oh. Boom want to go in once again, jumping in, using the Blink Dagger for the first time, drop some Dragon Tail, and the other follow up spells are just enough. Yep. And immediately they're circling, drawing on the mini map around the Dire Ancients. They know that's where Medusa's farming. And at this point, this game is going to become a 4 Protect 1 for Execration. They got to just hope Medusa can get farmed enough to carry this game. There's no other real way about it. The Puck's kind of having a rough time. Kamizu's Death Prophet is super, has less form than the Mirana. Like, it is Medusa versus the world this game. Oh my goodness. One way as the world. But yeah, we, anyway, we still have to believe in that Medusa. All oh, the miracle happens yep. so many times when it's come to the Med Medusa game. You Ooh. might keep killing him and also his teammate left and right. But when it's come to going up the high ground, you gotta respect the middle side anyway. Oh, Vincenzo. Oh, no, unless, <laughs> unless your support getting killed like that, that might be some exception. Yep. This oh. Miranda's even maxed arrow. <laughs> He's like, I don't need Star Storm. I'm killing people with arrow. Medusa got forced to stone gaze away in the jungle too. So they are just running from one kill to the next. Boom. There, there's, you know, this is just green light, green light. There is no stop in this team. The panel raised a very good point that uh, when you pick a Mirana with, with all the easy to pair it, like a Dragonite, Dragon Tail, or the Nightmare Arrow, it's just like yep. a Y and a stake. Yeah, it makes Mirana's game so nice. And they're going to have Yule Scepters as well soon. Ember already has one Mirana working on her own. So, boom, just controlling. They're blocking Medusa's Ancients now. Making it so that right. it's hard for the Medusa to even find farm. Oh, look at that. Higher ground. Okay. They are so mad at these Tarot from Mirana. Let's take a look if Tim can just stump the way. Uh, I don't oh. think it's going to be enough Snake. for him to just survive. They got that Tim, but they also need to, to lose something. Yep. 
always, it, always a cost. You want to commit on yes. a hero kill, you're going to lose something. And True. It's two supports, but one support for two. Um, you know, the math does not add up for Execration there. Uh, consider the comeback mechanic, it might be worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There is some, um, you know, comeback, poten comeback gold and kind of yeah. turnaround potential there. Bottom lane, though, Kamizu in the trees gets found. Ooh. Blind oh jumping in and find a target and dropping some uh, dragon tail. And the main damage is right here, is your part. He, he is everywhere, ready to la slash people off. Oh, Look he dodged that. the coil. Look at that, your part. Jump point moving in, illusory off. <laughs> he spent too much damage. He's just killed the dragon eye and it's not even half of his HP. Yep. Oh, man. And they just didn't even want to use the exorcism because Death Prophet was too low in health. Ember dodged the dream coil using Slide of Fist. Just cast it right as he threw it out and boom we'll get the kills and then also get this tier one tower ember they're hunting bob they seem to know where bob is right now uh oh no yule's oh, arrow nice okay oh nice one base hit let's take a look i think the lockdown is too many <laughs> there's so yeah, much but yeah uh, the other good thing of of throwing themselves into the micro fight and, and dying is you creating some space for Nando? But no. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, we're talking about creating some space, and they, they already approached. <laughs> and that's kind of how this game is going to go: is like supports and maybe even the offlaner Kamizu throwing away their life to try and let Nando farm. But they're hunting. Mm. Wherever Nando goes, boom, run at him. Oh, look at that! That is even behind the tier two tower. They didn't even call about a tower. They just want that Medusa running out of you already. All the star falls and all the trouble. stuff. Done the BKB for the first time for that Razor. Oh man, crazy game 2079. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, it's just it's just one by one fight. Uh, yeah. Absolute bloodbath. It's the yeah. The dominoes kind of game where one hero kills, the next person comes in to try and save him, they die too. And suddenly, boom, already sitting on 29 kills. This is a bloodthirsty team, and they're not just killing heroes. They're, you know, pressuring these towers, trying to take away the farm from Nando, using this Dragonite very effectively to do good building damage. I think for Team Execration in this game, they the first thing first, they just need to, to start believing that they can win. The whole series, or even this game. Once you once you believe, then the next step is to do to draw out the action plan. Okay, let's do this one, two, three. Well, this is not gonna be one of the action plan for sure. Because, oh my goodness, I'm trying to take down the dragon eye, the dragon eye was just too tanky. Yes, it, it can brought them down. All right. That's nice. That means the oh. overall damage yeah. isn't that bad. But um. Well, now the kill, sending in some arrow. Nando and Execration players just need to start to fight nearby the tower. Lopage has the remnant away. Has got a regen rune, though. You think he's going to go back in one more time? Oh, it's boom. You know you know they're going back in. <laughs> there is no doubt no. about it. Yeah, that's what arrow hits. About. Turn on. Arrow hit. That makes all the mana you gone. You scepter. And then what? Uh, slide oh, of Fates hit on two, running quite low for Nando. He just have to stay in the free line and send out only arrow. But hey, you Scepter, nice, trying to be safe on all the dream calls. Slide of Fates, Fire and away and leaving the support there. Not only support, Razor is also here as well. In three line, trying to juke. No, you are not run away from the storm. Oh no, it's a TT call in 19 minutes in. 35 to 10, score. It's Team Boom takes the lead 1-0. You blink, you miss it. Um, boom, you know, they say we have the longest game time in SCA. We can fix that. 19 minute GG. They are not messing around. They showed up. They're not looking to play. They're looking to get the job done. It's all business for them. Boom Esports. Whew. What a what a stomp. What a stomp indeed. Um, I just I just have nothing to, to to chat much about <laughs> this game it just it, it 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 really a hard game i mean they they're losing since the drafting table laning phase doesn't look good and 
especially for the middle lane. They lost mid, that means that Park, who's supposed to just rotate fast, rotate slow. It was it was the uh, Ember Spirit Yo Park moving on first, and then well, Matic start from there. That's it, it for <laughs> for game number one, ladies and gentlemen. We still have game number two. It's going to be up in real quick, guys. For now, let's hop into the break.